Nderitu claims the county government of Nairobi is trying to grab his property, promising to do anything possible to reclaim what it is his. He said the land where a school was demolished in Buruburu Phase 4 is a private property which he acquired in a legal way and not a public utility as purported. It's clear. Every procedure was followed. And as we speak right now, we are not the owners of that piece of land. I followed all documentation. I've done all due diligence. And I've tra the property currently is transferred into my company, Landmark Properties Limited. The businessman claimed that he bought the land from the church early this year after he was informed that the school's lease of 10 years had lapsed. About to my right in town centre, I think everybody saw on Saturday and yesterday. And I don't want to say much about that, what happened. The only thing I can say, my lawyers are working on it. And that license allows either party to cancel and to terminate. So that is it about the school. Them being tenants doesn't make them to be owners in as much as they have been there for maybe seven and a half years. Anytime the owner wants the piece of land, you do anything you want with it. Nderito is questioning why the county government of Nairobi is going after his properties, saying after ejecting him from the Buruburu land, the county officials then descended on his property adjacent to the 680 hotel, demolishing it, making him lose property valued at over 100 million shillings, saying such impunity should not be condoned. The businessman has now vowed to sue the county government of Nairobi for painting him a land grabber and for damage of property.